As you may know, the Armageddon strike to take out the KIS Rotgar came up well short. To make matters worse, the Kitty Battle Wagon has disappeared from our sensors, no doubt utilizing ECM craft and their knowledge of this system to momentarily give us the slip. But with no Kilrathi warships to defend Hyperion 6, we're free to move into her main planetary base. While the Hermes continues searching for the Rotgar, the Armageddon Battle Group will head directly to Hyperion 6, establish an orbit over the main planetary command, and commence orbital bombardment. Admiral Rumley has assigned half of our unit to ride shotgun along with the Armageddon. We'll hook up with her battle group at NAV-1 and escort them through NAVs 2 and 3, breaking through any planetary defenses the cats have set up in their way. We'll then slip into geosynchronous orbit near NAV-4, where our ships will literally unleash hell. Me and Sandman will be Alpha, Psychopath and Grey Wolf are Bravo, Avatar and Assassin are Charlie, Viking will take the other half of the squadron and lead the sweep throughout the system. All right, so rendezvous with the Armageddon battle group at Nav 1, escort the Armageddon to Hyperion 6, and defend the Armageddon during the entire operation. Secondary objectives, defend all vessels attached to the Armageddon battle group. Now, we don't we don't have to do this. If we, if we lose a ship or two, then that's okay. We don't it it's not it's not uh, mission critical I guess you could say, though Venom will probably blast us if we do fail that objective. So, all right, let's get into it. Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie Wings, you have clearance to launch. The Armageddon is waiting for you at Nav One. Check in with their comm officer once you get there. Proceed to next waypoint. Here we go. It's good to see the Armageddon again. We haven't seen her since the Proxima campaigns. Uh, fair warning though, guys. This mission can get a little long. <clears throat> morning, Galahad. I'll be relaying orders to you for this hop. Merlin Leader, you pick up our new friends? Yeah, I do. In the interest of saving time and avoiding a lot of boring chit-chat later, I'm Lieutenant Colonel House. You can call me Colonel. I'm one of the six pilots assigned to this flight. I am a 20-year veteran who has flown everything the Terran Space Force ever shoved out of a hangar bay. I am also the only pilot aboard currently forced to stay on active duty against his will. But not to worry. This job could be done by a monkey with a bottle of Vicodine. Oh, speaking of which, if your flying style is particularly annoying, you may see me throw in some pills on the calm view. <laughs> They're mine. You can't have any. <laughs> no, I do not have a stress management problem. I have a stress problem. But who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm too stoned to tell. <laughs> so... Who wants to fly on my wing? I'm going to pass. And who would rather fly with one of the other two guys? Uh, well, now that the pleasantries are out of the way, the Hermes fighters are sweeping ahead of us to clear the path. If they are as good as everyone says they are... And they are. I'll believe it when I see it. Mm -hmm. Then we have nothing to worry about. Set up autopilot positions and set course for the nav point. Autopilot link established. Proceed to next waypoint. MD sounds quite civil. And yes, I believe he is based on the character of House from the hit TV series, so... <laughs> Looks like it's about to rain cats and dogs. Minus the dogs. <laughs> Break and attack. Affirmative, girl. Oops. Momentarily forgot how to glide there. Sorry, folks. <laughs> All right. Let's get these guys.
I'm gonna try to save my missiles as for as long as I can until I absolutely need them. As I try to do every mission. <laughs> Thank you. Uh oh. Okay. Good. What are they at? Oh shit. Oh god, I hate that sound. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Aw, oh, man. Alright. Either way. Oh, again, just took a serious hit there. Thanks, assassin. Come on. How many freaking bombers do they have? Holy fuck. I mean, look at that. I'm, I've already used almost a third of my fuel just trying to get all these bombers. Side, ten kills. Not bad. There goes one. Alright, yeah, no more bombers. Good, good. Look at that, I've already used a path my fuel trying to chase after these guys. Yeah, it's gonna be one of those Proceed missions, to the folks. Next point. Proceed to next waypoint. Alright. I think there's gonna be at least a couple of rounds of 
anti-capital ship missiles coming for the fleet, too. That's gonna be fun. Colonel, the Admiral's pushing the battle group forward. No time to stop. Clear us a path through those turret mines immediately. Merlins, we've got the fighters. Galahads, make yourselves useful. Colonel, you are uniquely talented in many areas, but being a natural leader is not one of them. No, it really so, isn't. I've been alienating people since I was three. <laughs> you know, I can actually relate to that comment. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get these turrets taken care of. No thanks. doing a good job of it so far, pal. Oh, good. Pactons and iron butts. Alright. Wow, the Armageddon's already taken some serious damage. Perfect. Already lost the capital ship. We've lost the capital ship. Tighten it up, people. Like I said, we don't have to save all of them. This vision's a pain in the ass, anyway, so. But at least MD makes things a little bit more fun. If you can call it that. There's another one. Okay, let's get moving. I'm itching to get back to my office. Why? Because, my dear sir, there is a computer in my office. And when I log on, romance ensues. The downside is just that my wrist might fall off, but... Dear! ...in the odds. God damn it. Proceed to next waypoint. Okay. 
See if I can take out some of these enemy capital ships. Okay, that works. Are bombers that I have to worry about for right now. That's good. He's done. Hit him, 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 hit him. Aw, oh, man. Alright. Every time I hear that sound, I think to myself, oh shit, okay. <laughs> it's hard for me not to panic. Nice. do anything. <laughs> Whoops. More fighters. That was good. That was not very good. More fighters. I guess we're just gonna keep launching out of the starbase until we blow it up, so. Station. That's good. Kaboom! Man, that never gets old.
Thanks for getting that furball off my back. I just couldn't shake him. Hey, like I always say, there's no I in team. There is a me, though, if you jumble it up. Oh my god. Let's proceed to the next nav point. Proceed to next waypoint. Well, most of our capital ships are at 100% strength. That's good. Of course, if they lose the arm again, we're pretty much screwed. And she's already hurting pretty badly, so. We're detecting ground to space anti ship missiles. Vampire, vampire, all ships, weapons free. Uh, here we go with this shit. We also have enemy fighters inbound. They're coming up out of the planet's atmosphere. Armageddon! We've detected a large group of fighters slingshotting around the planet. Must be from the Oh shit! Oh, 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 oh. You think the cats would just hand the planet over, did ya? You say the planet was secure. You said that the path to the planet was secure, not the planet itself. Now we're getting somewhere. Where? I have no idea. How helpful. Uh, where are you at? You're all the way over there, okay. Stupid missiles making me use up all my fuel. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to stop most of those. Ah, oh, good. More bombers. Guys, I apologize if I'm starting to sound a little bit angry. This mission really makes me freak the fuck out. <laughs> I'm already almost out of fuel. Perfect. Go three fighters. Oh boy. Get back here.
Oh, perfect. I'm out of fuel. Oh, you want some too? Thanks. Okay, good. That's all the bombers, at least. Thank God. Whew. All right. I that's think. The last of the fighters. We're moving into bombardment range. We're preparing to launch Hellcats to go planet side and sweep up. Oh, thank you. Colonel fuck. House, land your group and refuel. Galahad Squadron, the Admiral says, "Bravo, Zulu, for your assistance. We'll take it from here. You're cleared. Back to the Hermes. Whew. Galahads, let's get out of here." Oh, and Colonel, you're an idiot. <laughs> I like to think of myself as more of a jerk. Mission They were. What can you say? It's war. Sandman, do you really expect me to believe this horse crap that your comrades are spewing? Of course, ma'am. <laughs> <sighs> don't think for one second that I'm buying this. If you don't want to comment on your colonel's little peculiar attitude, that's your choice. I guess you guys are clear to land. Good, I've had enough of this mission. We mourn the loss of our comrades. Many courageous officers and crew were lost in this battle that perhaps could have been saved had we been more vigilant. We as a squadron must ask ourselves what could have been done to avert this tragedy. This is no training simulation, pilots. When we make mistakes, lives are lost. As we speak, the Hermes, the Marines, and the rest of our battle fleet are hooking up with the Armageddon in orbit, commencing landing operations. This victory shouldn't come at such a high price. The hardest days the Confederation Navy and Space Forces have seen since the Battle of Earth are just ahead. For these battles, we'll need every ship in our fleet. As you probably saw, Colonel House is quite an interesting character. Same goes for Merlin Squadron, our counterparts from the Armageddon. We show them that we can hang with them, plus a lot more. Hell of a day's work, gentlemen. This campaign is far from over, though. We'll be starting dropship operations soon to take the planet. And we still have a Kilrathi Dreadnought and at least four carrier groups worth of Kilrathi warships loose in the system. I can't fathom the powers that be leaving the situation as it is for very much longer. Until then, we're still on alert. We can sleep when we're dead. Again, gentlemen, well done. That's all. Dismissed. Yes, sir. Let's get down to it, gentlemen. For the past several hours, our fleet has continued to hammer Kilrathi military targets on Hyperion 6. The Rotgar has gone dark and is laying low, no doubt to wait for reinforcements and replacement fighters. We have new reports of Kilrathi ships entering from the Freya jump point, which they still control. Even though we've dispatched three carriers to this system, we have failed to take out many of their escorting cap ships. Our latest reports indicate that the Rotgar is sending them our way to block our expansion throughout the system, or to mount raids on our assets over Hyperion 6. Because of these new developments, we have a little house cleaning to take care of. We'll leave the Langley and the Marine Division orbiting Hyperion 6 to continue hitting the planet, but we have to punch through these capital ships if we want to secure this system. With the majority of our bomber wings still being repaired, we're dispersing our own cap ships to confront them. Grey Wolf, Avatar, Sandman, and Ninja will comprise Alpha Wing. You are to proceed along these nav points, providing any assistance required. Your duties will consist primarily of fighter interception, covering our cap ships. Once your sweep is complete, you will then make your way back to the Hermes. Alpha, time is critical. Those cap ships are due to encounter their targets very soon. Jump to it. All right, so Kilrathi ships are entering the system. Proceed along your nav route and provide any assistance required by Terran cap ships. All right, let's get into it. You're cleared for launch. <laughs> Major. 
Make sure you get back in one piece. Aye, aye, Miss Sweeney. All the Hermes escorts are off on missions. Seems we're getting spread awfully thin out here. Let's keep the odds from getting any thinner. Proceed to next waypoint. I uh, hear that, Sandman. almost down. And she's gone. Those things are tougher than they look. We're clear here, Galahads. You can be on your way. Permanent. Good kill, McFall. Set course for the next waypoint. Proceed to next waypoint. There's something kind of satisfying about seeing that explosion in the background. <laughs> so far. There goes one.
<laughs> I was hoping to knock that one out of the shield of the confed ship there so I could bring it down myself, but eh, it's okay. I don't know where that came from. Is that, is that it? Okay. I was hoping there would be a few more fighters, but oh well. Oh, speak of the devil. This does look like a pretty easy mission, doesn't it, guys? We haven't even got to the good part of this section yet, though. <laughs> Let's move on. Glad to have you with us, Galaheads. Looks like we made a few friends. Well, I hope you haven't become too attached to your new friends, Perseus. Alpha Wing, break an attack. With pleasure. Yeah, but I always have a bogey on my six. Ah. Hmm, Fifteen kills so far, not bad, not bad at all. Fighters, aren't you, you son of a bitch? Fine by me. Okay. I 
I'm just gonna keep racking and raking in the kills this mission. <laughs> okay, there it goes. And that's how it's done. Just the way Mama used to make them. I'm already at the 30 kills this mission. Holy fuck. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining. Too bad the Perseus took a few hits there. But at least she's safe. Looks like we got a baby flat top there. Nice Called it. Some support. We're taking this guy down by the book. Roger that. Galahads, can you give us a little fighter cover? Already on it. Where are you at, boy? Thank you. Ow! Oh, you son of a bitch. Five kills. That's pretty fucking awesome. Good. Good. Oops. Okay. Oh, 
least he's having fun. Ah, oh, shit, we got bombers. Good. Did you get back here? Oh yeah. There you are. Bye. That was awesome. Would you adopt me? How the hell did you pull that one out of your ass? <laughs> it wasn't mine. I had a <laughs> Nice. Make it to 50 kills, guys. Whoops. Can I make it to 50 kills? Let's find out. 48. By the way, 47 is my lucky number. <laughs> 49. All right, that's all. Whoa. By the way, Armageddon, that still only counts as one. All units were under heavy attack. Uh oh. Curse this sudden but inevitable and cliche development. <laughs> what? Come on, man, you can't say you didn't see this coming. We have incoming missiles. Behind them, 80 Kilrathi fighters and one dreadnought. It's the Wrathgar. Uh oh. Problem child, what's the situation? Bad and getting worse. You could say that problem child has has problems. <sighs> this isn't comedy hour, Avatar. You already know what you have to do. Get back to the Hermings. I should get there the same as you. Once we regroup, the cats will regret ever messing with our with our. Let's move. Proceed to next waypoint. Let's move. Here's the Hermes. <clears throat> Chief Engineer, give me as much power as you can to the remaining engines. That's impossible, Captain. We can't take the strain. The Dreadnought's catching up to us, and when we get in range of the Dreadnought's guns, that's it. We're all done. Do whatever you need to do, just get it done. The first priority is survival. Deal with the consequences later. Damn it, Hermes is one of the fastest carriers in the fleet. Why did that monster's no gaining on us? The problem, Joe, is a random fact of the day. There's no such thing as stupid questions. Just stupid people. Dude, you really gotta stop describing yourself like that. It's a sign of low self-esteem. <laughs> oh boy, there's a new wave of kids coming. I might sort out of the mic out alive. Whoa! Okay. The 
Hats must have used the planet's gravity well to both conceal their approach and slingshot toward us with enough velocity to catch up to the Hermes. <laughs> Oh no. It's death thing? Forget I said clever then. Yes, sir. Well, thankfully, the Hermes still has 100% uh, home integrity. And the Rock Guard is probably just going to keep sending fighters and bombers. Excuse me. Whoa. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sixty! Holy crap! Sixty fucking kills! That's awesome! Whoa! Wow! I'm impressed. <laughs> Thanks, psychopath. Sixty-one. More bombers. I'm gonna try not to get too close to the Rotgar. Gotta try to stick relatively close to the Hermes. Where you at, boy? There you are. 66 kills. 67. Sixty-eight, can I get one more? Sixty-nine. Yeah. Seventy. Seventy one, seventy two, seventy three, seventy four, seventy five. If I make it to a hundred, I'm going to lose my fucking shit. Seventy seven. Okay, he's down. Says you. Flea bitten dirt bag. 78. Come on, come on, come on. 79. 81. 82. 82 kills. That's still really fucking awesome. 83. 84. 85. 86. I'm fun. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> 87. 87 kills. Eighty-eight. Uh, where are you at? I'm out of missiles. 
92 93 Ah oh, shit I don't like that sound Come on, give me one more. Woohoo! 100 kills. Awesome. Is uh, the Rock R is finally calling off her attack? That's very good news. Let's see if I can take these guys down. Hermes. How fitting that the squadron who always rides to our rescue are named after the most chivalrous of King Arthur's round table. You are clear to enter the Hermes gate. Yes, ma'am. Seems a lovely maiden who made in a tall tower reference fits in here quite nicely. I wonder what type of quest would win her hand. <sighs> and at night of Hyperion, or I'll bust you down to Port Jester. Let's call it a day. <laughs> Nice work out there, gentlemen, or should I say, Knights of Hyperion. In this era of carrier warfare, it's becoming increasingly rare to see warships engaged in stand-up slugging matches like what we saw today. Watching all that firepower crisscrossing the sky while you're duking it out with a furball doesn't light your blood on fire, you must already be sucking vacuum. The entire situation that the Hermes got herself into was a bit too close for comfort, but you've all worked as a team and pulled through. Speaking of which, we just detected a dead Kilranthi floating in space where the K.I.S. Rockgar was last seen. There was a dagger still lodged in his throat. 
Intel IDs the body as the Rotgar's captain, obviously now relieved of his command. <laughs> Looks like Deathfang wasn't too happy with his order to withdraw. As you know, the Victory and her battle group have jumped into Hyperion as we are preparing to leave. We've been informed that her mission in the Alcor system was a success, and Dr. Severin's efforts have already provided the missing pieces to completing what the Eggheads are calling the Pemblor Bomb. Ooh. Apparently, it's based on the same principle as the Behemoth, somehow shaking a planet apart from the inside, and they've come to test it in this system. Looks like we've taken out most of the Kilrathi cap ships in this system. I'm sure there are some strays running around, but it's nothing Victory pilots can't handle. With the minefield preventing entry from Kukris or Mishren, we have this system locked down as tightly as we can. We have a relatively quiet schedule for the next several hours. We'll probably jump later today and rendezvous with the fleet in Priya by early morning tomorrow. Galahads, I know you've been waiting to hear this for a wee bit, and I can safely say you deserve it. You can stand down. Yes, sir. Once. once the victory makes sure this T-bomb's not a dud, we'll need everything we've got for the final push. Dismissed. If you like this video, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash burning earth the effects. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.